CataractCoach.com, audio clues from your phaco machine. So listen to your phaco machine to improve your surgical technique. So we've got a case here from Ravi Gol from New Jersey, USA. And listen to the audio in the background. So that's his phaco machine. The low pitch means it's low vacuum. And of course, to make this groove, you don't need a lot of vacuum. So he's using low vacuum. Now, no vacuum, position one on the pedal while he achieves that crack. Rotates the nucleus, still on position one. Now, if he steps on the pedal more, you'll hear position two kick in. See, he kicks over to the next mode. And now he's got a higher vacuum. Listen, listen, a really high vacuum. As that pitch climbs, ee, that's a higher vacuum level. And so the higher vacuum is needed to bring the pieces out of the caps or bag. That's what that sound means. So when he's operating, he's listening. He doesn't want to give phaco energy until he achieves that high pitch. So it's vacuum and now energy. That minimizes the total energy. Phaco energy is not an attractive force. It won't attract the piece to you. A vacuum does that. So listen, a little bit of vacuum brings it up. And his goal is to achieve that high vacuum every time. And the pieces then come down very easily. So there's so many audio clues that are available from your fake machine. There's a reason why your fake machine makes all these noises. It makes the noises for you for feedback. So again, listen to that pitch, nice high pitch. It means the pieces are coming in there and blocking the port and cleaning the tip so we can achieve high vacuum. Peristaltic pumps require occlusion of the port to achieve max vacuum. So he's gonna switch over to the IA probe. You'll see the same thing on the IA probe. Again, you want to use that vacuum level to draw the cortex into your port, and you'll hear that as well. You know, it's kind of like the feedback you get from a, from a car. If you're driving a stick shift car, manual transmission, and you hear that engine climbing up, you don't have to look at the tachometer. You can know what the revs are by the sound of the engine. You know it's high pitched, right? You know that high sound means you've got 6,000 RPM. It's time to shift to the next gear. Let's watch and let's listen to the cortex move. So, position two, he goes into, and then what's the ding sound? Ding, ding, listen. If it dings, that means occlusion. That's a good sign. When you're doing cortex and move, you want to through the tip. So that dinging sound tells you, it's the machine saying, hey, we're at max occlusion. We're at max vacuum level. And so he's nice and easy on his technique. And you can see he starts off with low vacuum. Listen to it, low vacuum, and then it goes high vacuum goes low and high. So these are the audio clues that are so important. There's a, again, there's a reason why your machine makes these noises. It could be dead silent, but that wouldn't help you at all. You need to have this audio feedback. So an expert surgeon like Dr. Gold will just listen to these sounds, just not even paying much attention. It just goes in his head automatically. He can just re uh, react. And now obviously for that little strand there, low vacuum, barely touching the vacuum. So I'm gonna speed this part up right here. This is just inserting the lens because there's not much vacuum sounds here because we're not using the machine just yet. And then again, we're gonna take the, the viscoelastic from the eye, we'll slow it down and we'll listen to the sounds again. So the sounds that are made here are very important. All right, let's get back now. Eye probe going inside the eye. So now you're gonna have a lot higher vacuum, right? So he gets little pieces out there here. There's one little a chip of uh, lens material to get that out. And then he's got to remove all that viscoelastic, and that's going to be high vac. Look at that piece. If that little piece comes to the tip, what's going to happen? Oh, he's going to go behind the lens. Good job. I like that. You got to get that piece. And listen, ding. You see the ding? You need it occluded for a second. Right on, please. So that high pitch there means you've got high vacuum. You need the high vacuum, obviously, in order to remove the viscoelastic from the eye. You also need high flow. So the machines will make these variable sounds. You can adjust the volume level on your machine in order to get that feedback to the level you want. You don't want it so loud that it's disturbing you or disturbing the patient, but you know, a little bit of background, just so you can have those audio clues, it's very important. You know, if you're an experienced surgeon, try to turn the audio off on your machine and then try operate and see how strange it feels. You can still do the case, but it feels a little strange because you're not getting those clues that you need. And the next case in these series, I'm going to show you one tomorrow where we're doing phaco chop with another surgeon who, again, you'll hear the audio clues. That's even more important to be able to chop the nucleus 
at the appropriate time, you need to have the audio clues. So again, the main audio clue is, it can tell you what foot pedal you're in, one, two, or three. It can tell you how much vacuum you have, the lower the pitch, the lower the vacuum, the higher the pitch, the higher the vacuum. Don't make fun of me for my funny sound effects. And then it also gives you sounds of occlusion, ding, 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 and it makes a different sound when you're delivering phaco energy in the eye. So you can tell all these things just by the audio sounds, and when you become an experienced surgeon, you do this automatically, you don't even think about it. It's kind of like driving stick shift. Once you've been driving for 10 years, you can just drive. You don't have to think so much. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website, too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on. cataractcoach.com. Check it out.